Hello, my name is Lauren Denhart. Um, I recently got my PhD in the Department of Biological Sciences, and I study Kentucky bluegrass invasion in the, in the Dakotas. When I was 20 years old, I worked as a vegetation monitor for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service out in western Minnesota. I spent that time um, sampling some of what should have been our most pristine prairies, but noticed that many of them were overrun by invasive grass species. One of these notable grass species is Kentucky bluegrass, um, which you can see here. On the top is a prairie that's highly invaded with Kentucky bluegrass, and on the bottom here is a highly diverse prairie, what we hope to have in the region. Um, obviously, once a prairie is overrun by Kentucky bluegrass, we lose many very important plant species and thus lose a lot of habitat and pollinator services from those prairies. So I began to wonder um, when I was 20, why is this species in, is invading and what is the mechanism that's causing this invasion? So I went to graduate school um, and I came up with three hypotheses that I tested. The first was whether adaptation was, was occurring in these wild populations. The second, whether Kentucky bluegrass was highly competitive or not. And the third, whether environmental variables were correlated with Kentucky bluegrass invasion. I used genetic tools to test whether adaptation had been occurring in these wild populations and found that that wasn't the case. So I crossed out that hypothesis and moved on to the next one. Then I test whether Kentucky bluegrass was competitive against some of these, um, some three native species, and found that it was kind of competitive, but it wasn't really something to write home about. Um, so I didn't really accept that hypothesis. It wasn't totally supported. Um, so then finally, I looked at some of the environmental variables using a long-term data set that I had access to to see what environmental variables were correlated or highly associated with Kentucky bluegrass invasion in the region and found that precipitation levels were very highly correlated with Kentucky bluegrass invasion. Now, in this region, over tip, typically every four to eight years, we switch back and forth between a uh, wet and a dry cycle. But in the last 20 years, that cycle has been disrupted, and we've been in a time of high, high levels of precipitation. This is likely one of the causes for Kentucky bluegrass invasion. Thank you.